the name of the Son and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit come down and fill the hearts of the faithful departed and also the hearts of the living and also the heart of those who are in bondage of the evil one. In Jesus' name. Dear brothers and sisters, sorry for some inconveniences, uh, for a little delay, about five minutes. We're trying to put things together. So as it is today, we stand in for a prayer against witchcraft. Witchcraft. We have a woman who is a witch. Is called a witch. A man who is a witch is called a wizard. Their common practice is witchcraft. And we need to know what is witchcraft? Witchcraft is nothing else than wicked jealousy. When you begin to have bad mind towards another, how you wish the person bad luck, that is bewitchment. Bewitchment. You may not be a court member of a witchcraft, but you can be a witch or wizard by the way you think for your neighbor. If you are a hindrance to them, you are a witch, you are a wizard. So I want you to disconnect yourself from witchcraft. Don't set obstacles to others. But we know there is a real cult, member groups who form themselves as a real practitioner or practitioners of witchcraft. The other kind are just the one that is inherent in human nature. But there is one intentionally uh, entered into. It is covenantal. That one has a body. So that's the one chiefly we are going to concentrate. But you better disconnect yourself from any related activity of the witchcraft. We are praying because they have many facets. They can do so many evil things. They have almost, they are as powerful as Lucifer in, in wreaking havoc. In human society, they have no mission as than destruction. They have no mission more than to kill and put people in agony, state of agony. And as such, witchcraft, the scripture was blunt. If you open something like Exodus 22, verse 18, it says, Suffer the witch to die. Make him die. Make her die. They should not live because their attitude, their character, their intention, their mission, their vision is just aimed at destruction of another. In fact, to show how destructive they are, they even destroy themselves first of all. As most members of God, uh, witchcraft God, they use some part of their body. They use their children or, or use less their children, especially firstborn. Sometimes they eat it up. They eat their children. So they are heartless. A group of heartless people 
group of heartless people. Don't join it. And I'm praying against it right now. Witchcraft can form cobweb, even where there are no trees where it will hang. And as you are coming, your face will be filled with cobweb. And you begin to remove it without seeing it. You know that cobweb is on your face. That is the activity of the witchcraft. They can block, take the womb. They, they, they are high level technological beings. They can remove the womb and hang it on the tree. They can do so many things. If you do any good thing for them, they revert it and combat it to evil. For instance, you may see how tata the person is and how uncared for. You just buy clothes or shoe and hand over to him or her. You will say thank you, thank you, thank you, God bless you. But in the dream, in the real world, you will present that gift as a curse that you cost her or him, that you harmed, that you, you derided her, is belittling for giving her this thing. You see, my people, I don't know what I did to this man that he should bring this thing to belittle me. You just turn it around now. Sometimes you give the money, they will have evil pot, which they are cooking, and they will put that cloth or put the money or put whatever good thing you give them and they will cook it and that's how you will flop. So witchcraft, Bible was clear. Exodus 22 verse 18. So far the witch to die. Make him or her die. So we are going to kill them by our prayer because they don't repent. They are all ready to repent. They took it upon their nature to destroy you. And I'm here today to pray against that. We have them um, Halloween in European countries. Halloween. And uh, on the moderate white witch, black witch, uh, voodooist, all these. We have the, uh, so many of the green witch and all that. So whatever one you belong, sometimes it is incredible, unbelievable, horrific result that they met out to humanity. I am standing here today for the things they have destroyed. They can imprison somebody and you are here on earth moving around without <laughs> knowing that you are, you are just a ghost. They can put you in a pot. They can put you in a bottle and cook it. I know a place where I was praying and a girl in the marine world came forward and said, Father, why did you come here? Look, we don't want you here. See what we have done now. My sister, whom I have already put in the bottle, you have broken that bottle and she escaped. It was very serious. This was in Buari, Abuja. That you have released my sister and I was to be given crown tomorrow when I present her. So the sister was right inside the bottle without knowing. And I told the priest who was with me, can you make a call unto the sister? And uh, we, fortunately we got her online and she said she has not been well all this while, but this evening uh, she's getting herself uh, recovered without knowing what was happening. So many times they cage you, put you there, but our prayers will fling to through and scatter the bottle and break the pots and shatter the keys of the doors where they put you behind. They can imprison somebody, put you in a room, dark room in the spiritual realm. Witchcraft is bad. Suffer the witch to die. Make the witch die. Make the wizard die. So I am praying against them. Especially those who are already in bondage in their net, in their net. Some people don't hide about it anymore. 
I, I know some part of uh, one local government in Enugu State here. I went there, and one man was selling witchcraft in the market. Just 15 naira. You eat it like granite, and automatically you begin to see and prophesy. So those who are looking for false prophecy, go there and buy your own witchcraft. But mind you, hell is waiting for you. I had to beat the man up and told, and told him to stop this. But if you don't stop this, I'm giving you two weeks and you are finished. And he insisted on doing that. And two weeks exactly, he died. We suffered the witch to die. He died. And those are one. It's a merciless attack. We don't mess it for you. We'll give you a chance to repent. So, if you are a witch and you are a wizard and you are listening to me this night, you must release those you are holding. Let your kingdoms listen to me, wherever you are, under the sea, in the mountains, in the forest, in the wilderness. You must release those you are holding hostage. Some people are worthless, roaming around hopelessly without achieving anything in life because your hands are in their lives. I am cutting your hands in Jesus' name. I'm tearing the keys in Jesus' name. I'm breaking open the pots in Jesus' name. I'm dismantling your gadgets in him in Jesus' name. I break your mirrors in the name of Jesus. I cover every nook and cranny on them in the blood of Jesus. Every power responsible for the downtrodden of humanity, setting back, especially all those who are listening to me right now. Father, may you raise your hand of deliverance and deliver them, deliver them, deliver them. Some can't marry because they have potty on their four spiritual foreheads. There was a time also near Ibawa where a young child of about five years came and told me, Father, I stopped all the girls from our village from marrying. I said, how do you do that? He said, in the night, he carried potty and rubbed their face. And so they either be smelling or be hated by men. I sent message to the town's girls that they should come for adoration. They all came, about 32 of them. And after prayers, behold, before one month was over, 16 of them got married. So what the guy was testifying is free. So all those carrying spiritual party, I release you in Jesus' name. I release you in Jesus' name. I release you in Jesus' name. Hatred for nothing. Disappearance of your blessings, stoppage of your good wishes, obstruction of your contact. I am standing here to open every door locked by the witches and wizards. They cannot continue to operate in your life again in Jesus' name. They can stop a woman from having children. They take away your home. They block your fallopian tubes. But any handiwork of the devil, the form of witches or wizard, I am destroying them with the Holy Ghost fire. I am destroying them with Holy Ghost fire. I am destroying them with Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Be released. Be released. Be released. And may those of you who are yet free, Never ever be trapped. May they never trap you. May they never succeed in attacking you or tracking you. Any monitoring mirror of the witches and wizards, I break it with the Holy Ghost, fire. I disorganize all their previous plans. I begin to release you from the chains, from the oppressions, from the keys, from the port from coffin where they have already placed your body your spirit and your body is moving about hopelessly father those in the spiritual bondage 
of the witches and wizards. I release them now. I release them now. I release them now. Witchcraft is a kind of occultism. And as such, any occultic power influencing or inflicting pains in the lives of children of God listening to me right now, Father, deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them from these pains. These witches can do and undo. They can inflict certain sicknesses that cannot be cured. They keep on inflating a particular sickness. Sometimes you want to take drug and they will remove the power and you drink only chalk. I am standing here with authority to counteract their negativity and their nocturnal activities in your life. Anything they have done to set you back, to, to, to kill you, to maim you, to stop your joy, to throw you into pains, I reject it in Jesus' name. I fight them back in Jesus' name. Father, all the works of the enemy, wherever it is, witchcraft, wizard, Father, I, I come against it. I send the blood of Jesus over there. I send the Holy Ghost fire over there. I break that yoke, I break that chain, I break that curse, I break that spell of the witches and wizards. Some people are drinking too much because they have been attacked by the witchcraft or wizard. Some are eating too much, some are gossiping, some are stealing because of the influence of witchcraft. Father, at this very night, let there be testimonies of being released. Distance is never a barrier. Distance is never a barrier. Distance is never a barrier in the spiritual realm. Father, move to all parts of the world and deliver your people. Some people don't regard it as anything, but witchcraft is bad. Father, I pray for total deliverance, total liberation, total freedom. Deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them. And those who refuse to repent shall die. But if they repent, may they live in Jesus' name. The witch, the wizard, the wizard, the wizard, the kingdom, their kingdom, their kingdom, kingdom, may they be born and set on fire in the name of Jesus. Mm, Jesus. Take control. I am mentioning that mighty name. That name shall make all the witches and wizards and their, all their works bow. I mention it. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. May all the powers of witches and wizards in the lives of all who are partaking in this prayer begin to bow, begin to shatter. Those who are already wrapped with mud, may these muds dry up and fall off. Mm. Lord, those who are carrying different stigma from the witchcraft world, Father, release them to enjoy your grace. May they see light again. May they rejoice once more. In Jesus' name I pray. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be freed. Be freed. Be freed. Be freed. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be liberated. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All those whose destinies and stars are stolen by the witchcraft world. Father, return it for them. Those who blessings are hanging in Iroko trees and high places, be released in Jesus' name. Those who are hiding under the seas and bushes, be released in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hand and thank the Lord. Wave your hand and thank the Lord. In Jesus' name.
I say, thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. I bow down, Lord, before you. Before you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I bow down to you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And as I bow, all the witches and wizards in the whole kingdom of the world must bow. So they will bow in the lives of all Christians, in the lives of all children of God. They must bow and submit to their powers under the feet of Christ and remain powerless. As long as those who are called children of God are concerned, they can never rise again in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Dear brothers and sisters, once again, know it that you're going to say some prayers against attack of the witches and wizards. You are going to pray thunder and fire. Thunder and fire. Page 41. Eh? Sa prayer 41. Page 126. You can open it. Prayer 41. Page 126. 126. Prayer 41. Prayer against witchcraft. I stand on the word of God in Exodus 22 18 to sign your death certificate. All you witches and wizards. I sign your death certificate if you refuse to com comply. And your burial ceremony. In Jesus' name, I pray. Take note of it. I pity you last. You better change or leave children of God alone. Can you dare watching me tell me that you are free in Jesus' name? Say, I am free in Jesus' name. Say, I am free in Jesus' name. Say, I am free in Jesus' name. Numbers 23, verse 23 to 24 said something. No witchcraft can be used on you. No magic charm can be used on you. Say, I claim it right now. Numbers, Numbers 23. From verse 23 to 24. No magic charm can be used on you. No witchcraft can be applied in your life. Disconnect yourself from any of such things now. 
and say, I claim this very verse. Exodus 22, verse 18. Take note of it. Numbers 23, verse 23 to 24. Take note of it. No magic charm can be used on you. No witchcraft can be used on you. They don't know this. But then when they try it, they will face fire. They will die. They will learn their lesson. Hard lessons. Thank you, Jesus. By tomorrow, we are going to talk on fruit of the womb. You have to marry first. Some are impotent as men. They can't bring a woman. Some women, they have no problem with their wounds, but they cannot conceive. Why? We're going to ask God to open their wounds. And those who are not married to get married. We're going to join it. Those who are married to be happy with their marriage, no breakage. At least we'll be joined to give joy to the family. And if a child is giving birth to a family, they will have money to train that child in Jesus' name. It's a kind of holistic family approach. God continue to bless you as we meet again tomorrow. Today, the 11th day, God. And this work. I wrote it about witchcraft. Please try and download it as well. I think we have given you some information on how to download. The true revelation about witchcraft. A former occult secretary now speaks. That's me speaking. I talk to you with evidences. I talk to you from practicality. I talk to you from experience. I've been in the occult world. I know the operations. And that's why I'm telling you, don't fear them. You have supremacy of authority. The power in you is greater than the power in them. First John 4, 4. Read this little work and you'll become fearless. You don't fear witches and wizards and nefarious activities. It, through the true revelation about witchcraft. True revelation about witchcraft. Just little pamphy, pamphy. Just like this other one. Download it for you. All the prayers, the requests you are making. God will surely do something. I don't want you to be half baked in faith. So once again, I ask the good Lord to bless you all listening to me and joining in this prayer. In the name of the Father. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.